Hello, uh, my name's Toby from Artmaster Studio and this is a quick update for what's going on in the studio recently. Um, basically I'm going to show you a couple of things we've uh, recently finished and this will kind of act as a studio update. So this is some Milan Condottieri, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, basically we went for a red and blue uh, theme on these so you can see there's uh, sort of halves and quarters on the cloth um, this is to our showcase standard uh, very nicely based as you can see with uh, bushes and flowers uh, grass and earth now these are all crossbowmen with their pavises and the uh, stakes driven into the ground um, the colour on the camera is a little bit off, they're actually a bit more vivid than this. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can adjust the camera settings, but basically, yeah. Th so, this is our showcase standard, and we paint to uh, this standard for £10 per figure, which is actually quite a good deal. Uh, a lot of people charge more money for this sort of standard. Um, but this is a very nice standard for your gaming and uh, to go in your display case as well. And we do offer discounts for larger orders. So say you want uh, an army doing um, or a considerable amount of figures then uh, even if it's spread out over time we usually offer a 10% discount. So really you'd be paying £9 a figure for this standard. You can see they do, they do have eyes. I'm not sure if that's going to show up or not. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next um, piece of eye candy. This is some Games Workshop Fantasy Dwarves. Uh, they're miners, I believe. You can see they've got their uh, axes and or pickaxes and candles on their heads for when they're going through the mines, need something to light their way particularly like the banner here turn that around, there we go so we didn't put any fancy design on it um, but I like the way that the green turned out on it and of course you've got the donkeys uh, pulling the mining equipment so we did uh, two brown and two grey again this is to our showcase standard So, uh, you know, if you're looking for this sort of standard for your army, then get in touch with us. We can, you know, work something out. Various shades of hair. We have blonde, ginger, and grey. There we go. Nice grey one. Okay, so that's that item done. Um, also, a quick mention, if you want to visit our blog, um, it's called Inside a Painter's Mind. Now, I've got it up on the computer here. Um, and basically, uh, I update it every so often, a couple of times a month usually, with pictures of uh, the things we've been working on. And these are some um, foundry Vikings, Viking warriors. This is painted to a museum standard. Uh, in fact, I have them over on the side, so I'll probably show those off. But basically, uh, you know, if you want to join the blog, just type into Google "inside a painter's mind." Okay, now so I'm just going to move over to this tray. Now I'm going to bring these over to the table here. Okay, so uh, in this tray actually, um, we have the museum standard uh, Vikings. Um, basically, this is our highest standard of painting. There's a lot of flesh on these figures, which a lot of people find fairly difficult. Let's see if I can pick one of my favorites out and zoom in on him.
Now our price for these is £20 per figure to paint um, but as I said before we do offer discounts of 10% so you'd only really be paying £18 for um, a reasonable sized commission. That's a uh, shield transfer from LBM, Little Big Men Studios. I'll pick another one out. I particularly like the cloak on this guy. We uh, we put quite a bit of nice, um, more subtle tones in the shading there. Alright, so uh, and now some cavalry. These are Perry Miniatures Knights Templar. Now they actually, they're actually um, Perry Hospitaller's um, castings painted as Knights Templar. So they've all got the uh, white shields and white uh, cloth with the red crosses on. So uh, crosses of various sizes as well. So you see there's a small one there. Uh, and then a larger one there, different, uh, that's a skinnier one, a fatter one. I'm really happy with how these turned out as well, especially on the horses. I really love painting Periminiatures horses, so I'll show you a couple of these. Again, we've got the more subtle blending, more layers. more attention to detail so uh, various different browns on the horses some of them have got um, black manes and tails, some of them have got the uh, horse flesh um, coloured mane and tail a couple of black horses in there as well Black's quite a difficult colour to get right on horses. Uh, it can end up looking too grey if you're not careful. But, um, but uh, you're not really going to have too dark horses anyway. Well, that's a, a phone call, so I've got to go answer that. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.